In this section of Active Administrator, we'll be discussing the backup and restore capabilities of Active Administrator on Active Directory objects. Now, Active Administrator has the ability to perform automated backups of all your objects in Active Directory, AD configuration data, domain and forest DNS zones, as well as any Atom instances. I can choose to run my backups and automate these either once or twice a day. I can choose the times of the day in which I'd like these backups to occur, or, or at any given time, I could perform a backup now. Once performing these backups, we'll archive these backups historically, which will actually give me attribute level point in time restoration on Active Directory objects. So to simulate the power behind the backup and restore capabilities in Active Administrator, what I'm going to demonstrate here is potentially catastrophic event of deleting an organizational unit. Now in this OU, I had many objects contained within the OU. I had delegated permissions being applied in that organizational unit. I even had group policies that were linked over to this OU. And now Chicago is completely gone. So to recover this, simply come over to the recovery section of Active Administrator. And I can pull from any of my archive backup files. Here I'll take my most recent backup. I'll select my Chicago container to restore. Truly as easy as point, click, and done. Here are all the objects contained within my Chicago OU. I'll choose to recover Chicago and all objects that it contains. I could even choose to only recover objects that it contains of a certain type. I can choose to only restore deleted objects. In this case, everything has been deleted, so it does not matter if I click this box or not. In server 2003 with service pack 1 in, in my Active Directory environment, I have the ability to recover passwords when reanimating these objects. I can also restore all of the attributes or select attributes when performing this reanimation. And I can get a preview here of what will be restored. In this case, I'll just click on restore and you'll notice that very quickly and very easily Active Administrator is doing a full restore of this organizational unit and everything contained within this OU. Now, all the backups that are being performed and automated by Active Administrator are being taken from your PDC emulator. And when we're restoring back to Active Directory, we're restoring back to the PDC emulator. Now, in Server 2003 Active Directory or in uh, Active Directory Mixed Mode environments, we utilize a tombstone technology, so we're maintaining SID history of all of these objects when reanimating them. That's very important because I'm not having to reconfigure user profiles and I can relink these uh, accounts with their mailboxes. Uh, also, any permissions that were granted to them explicitly through Active Directory or within my file system will be maintained because we're maintaining the SID of that object. I'm also not taking domain controllers down and performing an authoritative restore in literally a matter of minutes. I can completely recover from what may have taken me a few hours utilizing native backups and native restoration. Going back over to here to security and delegation, I'll just refresh on my root level domain. And you'll notice that my Chicago organizational unit has been completely restored. All of my objects within Chicago have been restored. All of the security and delegated permissions within Chicago have been maintained. And if I go to my group policy, I can look at my group policy objects by container. I can look into my Chicago organizational unit and I'll notice all of my GPOs have been relinked over to Chicago as well. Again, instant online recovery of Active Directory objects without taking domain controllers down, without the need for an authoritative restore.